Earlier this year, Maine Republican Governor Paul LePage urged citizens to take advantage of the state's gun laws and shoot drug dealers on sight. Everybody in Maine, we have constitutional carry. Load, load up and get rid of the drug dealers. The governor's comment came only a day after he called for drug traffickers to be publicly executed, tortured, or at least given 20 years to life behind bars. There, there's nothing good enough for these people. I think uh, four years is, is, is not good enough. We gotta go to 20 years. We gotta keep them here until they die. If you want my honest opinion, we should give them an injection of the stuff they sell. What I think we ought to do is bring the guillotine back. <laughs> guillotine there. <A> guillotine. <laughs> we well, could have public executions and have, you know, we could even have uh, uh, which, which hole it falls in. Apparently, LePage doesn't think America's war on drugs is tough enough and would rather emulate countries like China, Iran, and Saudi Arabia, where drug offenders are executed. While the U.S. and more than a dozen other countries have the death penalty on the books for drug traffickers, it isn't currently enforced much to the governor's chagrin. Load up and get rid of the drug dealers. But LePage is no stranger to foot and mouth disease. Before telling Maine residents to take justice into their own hands, the governor was accused of racism for another questionable comment about drug dealers. These are people that take drugs. These are guys that are named D-Money, Smoothie, Shifty, uh, these type of guys that come from Connecticut, New York. They come up here, they sell their heroin, then they go back home. Incidentally, half the time they impregnate a young white girl before they leave, which is a real sad thing because then we have another issue that we've got to deal with down the road. After intense criticism, LePage was forced to half-heartedly apologize, saying the comment wasn't meant to be racial. I was going impromptu and my brain didn't catch up to my mouth. I, instead of saying Maine women, I said white women. If you go, and I'm not going to apologize to the Maine women for that, because if you go to Maine, you will see that we're essentially 95% white. Even as major medical, scientific, and human rights organizations are urging for a more compassionate approach to drugs, prohibitionist politicians like LePage want to ramp up the failed drug war. When will they learn?